Today I will be making a Vietnamese noodle dish with influence from Cambodia. It's called Hồ Tiêu. Basically it's rice noodles served with pork broth and various toppings like pork liver, boiled pork, quail eggs, shrimps, fried garlic, fried shallots, etc. This is how Hồ Tiêu is prepared by an actual vendor in Ho Chi Minh City. I've just filmed this during my recent trip to Vietnam. You can serve this noodle either together with the broth or having the broth on a separate bowl. After immersing the noodle into the boiling water and strain, she adding some garlic oil and special black sauce. This is for the dry version of the noodle. For the noodle soup version, she also uh, blanch and strain the noodles and then add in the toppings and pour the hot soup over. It is then topped up with a large prawn and served with a plate of fresh vegetables. It is super delicious and I'm gonna try to duplicate this dish at home. It might not be exactly the same, but you know, I will try my best. Let's begin! Firstly, very long list of ingredients, so make sure you have them all in your shopping list. You will need pork bones, lean pork, and minced pork. For the broth, you will need dry sweet and dry shrimps, which can be bought at Asian store, daikon, a large kind of radish, garlic, onion, shallot, lime, pork liver, some large shrimps or prawns. This is optional, but I also like to have preserved radish. For vegetables, you will need bean sprouts, chili, garlic chives, and some Vietnamese celery, rau gong. Firstly, tear the dry sweet into small pieces and soak them in hot water. You can also grill the sweet a few minutes in the oven to bring out the flavor. If you can't find the dry sweet, it's okay just to use dry shrimps. For the daikon, just peel and cut into half inch slices. In the large saucepan, boil the pork bones for about 5 minutes. You will see the impurities rise to the top. Then we're gonna dump out the whole pot. Rinse the bones under running water to remove the impurity. And also wash the pot clean. This is an important step to make sure that we're gonna have a clear broth. So return the bones into the pot and fill with water. Then add in 1 cube of rock sugar and 1 onion, a tablespoon of salt together with some daikon slices. After soaking in hot water for 15 minutes, I have washed my dry sweet and shrimps a few times and drained, then add them all into the broth. Also add in the large piece of uh, lean pork. We're gonna bring to a boil and skim up the foam. Then cook on medium high for about an hour. With all these special items, the broth gonna be very flavorful. Next, we're gonna prepare the toppings. Season the minced pork with some salt and pepper. Add in a glass of water and mix well to avoid any junk. Set aside. For the preserved radish, I bought it shredded like this. This is not a must, but I just love to have some crunch in my toppings. Mix the preserved radish finely. Also mix the shallot and garlic. Next, we're gonna make some garlic oil. In a pan, adding some vegetable oil and fry the garlic. Once the minced garlic turns quite golden brown, quickly transfer to a bowl. 
and a little trick to keep the fried garlic stay crispy is to add in a little bit of sugar. You can do the same to make fried shallots. Next, we stir fry the minced radish with a little bit of oil. Season lightly with some salt and sugar and transfer to a bowl. After that, boil the quail eggs with some salt. Then cut garlic chives into 3 inch length. Or you can also chop them up. For the noodle, you're gonna need a special noodle called Hu Tiu Yai. It's also a kind of rice noodle but it's thinner and chewier than pho. Just cook the noodle follow the packet instructions. Now in a small saucepan, add in some salt and vinegar. We're gonna cook pork liver with this to remove the bad smell. Make sure you do this not long before serving because cooked pork liver can get dry very quickly. When it's cooked, slide into thin slices. Also remove the piece of lean pork from the broth and slide thinly. Now before serving, we're gonna blanch the minced pork in the boiling broth. When the color of the meat changes completely, that's when it's cooked, transfer it to a separate bowl. These are the shrimps that I already peeled and deveined. Just keep the tail attached for a nicer presentation. Also place the prawn in a strainer and immerse into the boiling broth to cook them quickly. This is how you assemble the dish. In a large serving bowl, add in noodle, a few slices of pork, a few slices of pork liver, some prawns, a little bit of minced pork, two hard-boiled quail eggs, top up with some garlic chives, and a bit of fried garlic, fried shallot, and preserved radish. All these little details come together really well as a harmony and they are what make this noodle dish stand out. This is the dry version that I came up with. Now add in some black sauce which is made from oyster sauce, soya sauce and sugar. You can look in the description box below for a detailed recipe. Mix well and serve with some fresh vegetables like bean sprouts and garlic chives, lettuce and special Vietnamese celery rau gong, and a side bowl of the delicious soup. Adjust the broth to your taste with sauce, sugar and chicken stock. For the noodle soup version, I'm just gonna pour the hot soup over. You can add more of the toppings, garlic, shallots, radish as you like. Oh gosh, this is just a bowl of blissfulness. <laughs> Enjoy the clear yet flavorful broth, the chewy noodle, all the floating items just make this dish look so tempting. If you agree with me, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious noodle recipes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.